so beautiful, isn't it? Skill and beauty wrapped into one. His music has been described as poetry and motion, and he is known to his fans as the Acoustic Ninja. And he's here on his debut New Zealand tour. We are very lucky to have him first, actually. Would you please welcome American guitar great Trace Bundy? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, guys. That is so awesome. But honestly, I could sit and listen to you all day, which is what a whole lot of New Zealanders are going to go and do because you're here on tour. Mm. What got you into guitar in the start? Can you remember the first time you picked one up? I do. So I was probably nine or ten years old. My brother and I were walking through our little town, and, and there's a yard sale. I don't know if they have yard sales here. We and call garage sales. Yeah. Exactly the same thing. Basically the same thing, yeah. I mean, this guy had a little acoustic guitar for sale, and it was $10. And literally both my brother and I had five dollars in our pockets. Wow. We, we pulled it out, we bought this thing. On the way home we bought a guitar magazine that said, learn how to play like five heavy metal songs. And we bought that and like learned a Metallica song <laughs> that afternoon and it kind of all went from there. And your mum went, yes Metallica, yes. this is awesome, <laughs> yes. play some more of that. You were an engineering professor before you became a full-time musician. That's right. This is a very weird path to take and YouTube mm. had a lot to do with this, didn't it? It did. So, you know, I, I my parents were like, you're not going to make any money playing your guitar. And so I went and I, I studied engineering. I thought that would be the smart thing to do. And, and then they, they got my, my master's and they asked me to teach. And then my music started taking off and I had to make a choice. Do I continue down this or do I follow my passion? Was it a hard thing to do? You know, it, at that point, I was getting so many requests to go and play different places. And I'd, I'd, have, I'd fly away play a concert, come back Monday morning to teach my class, wow. you know, engineering. And then and it just got so hard that I was like, it's time to make the switch. Because how many YouTube views have you got? 36 million or something? 36 million, yeah. Oh, who's 36 counting? 36 million. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. 36 mil. That is incredible. And, you know, this has taken you around the world. What country are we for you when it comes to touring? Oh, man. Yeah. But, so... Basically, as of playing this song right now, yeah. it's 28. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah, yes. Nice. Last uh, week in Australia was 27, so now 28th country I've played in. And you played in some really unusual places too, like little villages yeah. and big cities. Where's the most unusual place you've played? Oh, man, probably uh, Zimbabwe, Africa, I'd say. They played in this old kind of stone church thing and, and the electricity went out in the middle of the show I mean like they had generators going this is crazy and how do you how did you end up in a place like that playing guitar so, went down there to visit some friends and and they were well connected and they they set up a, a series of concerts for me that's and great. So, yeah. well, Show some ninja skills. Yeah, well, that's yeah, yeah. what I want to see, because you basically squeeze everything you can out of the guitar. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of the beauty of your performance. It's not just about the sound you're creating, but you've used that as a whole instrument, oh, haven't you? Yes. Um, and I love it. Can you take us through some of the, you know, the styles that yeah. you're using, which is so intriguing people? Yeah, I mean, so basically, kind of the essence of what I like to do is, is, is you know, back in the day, I, I got good at playing my guitar with one hand. Mm hmm and what that does is it opens up your other hand to do other things and the acoustic guitar is just such a great instrument because you have you know like these 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 kind of kick drums you have the all these You know, you wow. can do it. Trace, I need to ask you about your fingernails. Look at, look at, finger, look at his fingernails. I want to hide mine because I didn't paint them today. Look at, look at this. What's going on so, with your fingernails? I usually don't like to talk about my nails, yeah. but since we're here... Uh, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> so the way I play, um, I ha it's, it's like having five picks on my hands. So they're like so, acrylic ones. And, and so we, normally you might grow out your, your real nails, but the way I play is so aggressive that they just start right. getting shredded. And so they're acrylic nails. Just, I go into a nail Just salon. go like this to me. You've got one hand got of one hand, nails. yep. This is my, my, the calluses, and this is the long nails, yep. That so. is a great look right there. I, I was it's not a great look. <laughs> it's not a great look. Let's be clear about that. <laughs> so, no. Well, it's a great tool to have because obviously it makes a beautiful uh, sound on that <laughs> instrument. You honestly do know how to work a guitar absolutely brilliantly. Mm. Um, and we're so lucky to have you here in New Zealand. Thank you so, Thank you so much for coming to yeah. the cafe yeah, as well. Great to be here. It's Thank been you. an absolute pleasure. Mm. Uh, Trace Bundy's debut New Zealand tour kicks off in Palmerston North tomorrow, followed by shows in Auckland, Christchurch and Wellington as well. And judging from what we're seeing today, it is well worth yes. seeing.